Good morning, children. Today I shall teach you chapter two, human body. You know that in human body there are different organs which work differently. Now I shall explain to you about the functions of the different organs of human body in details. Now, children, you open your science book, chapter two. Page number ten. Now you already know that our body is made up of different organs. These organs do different types of work, and many organs together they form an organ system. Our body has different organ systems which work differently. The respiratory system, skeletal system. muscular system digestive system circulatory system and excretory system are some organ systems of human body in this chapter we shall study respiratory system in detail now external organs we can see some of the organs such as hand leg elbow ears nose etc such organs are called external organs that means the organs we can see from outside are called external organs now internal organs some organs of our body cannot be seen these are located inside our body and such organs are called internal organs these internal organs are located at different places in the body now children you see the brain heart stomach kidneys bladder intestines liver lungs and thyroid all of these are internal organs in a human body now i am going to the next page few internal organs are as follows the first is brain the brain is located inside the skull bones of the head and it controls most of the activities of the body it helps us to think remember and learn it sends the messages to different parts of the body and tells them what to do thus the brain is called the master of the body now you see the picture of the brain now heart heart is a muscular organ located on the left side of the chest cavity it pumps blood to various parts of the body through blood vessels and heart is very important organ now children you see the picture of the heart here now stomach and intestine stomach and intestine are located inside the abdomen stomach is a sac like organs the food we eat reaches the stomach through the food pipe and in stomach food gets mixed thoroughly from stomach food reaches the intestines and stomach and intestines break down the food into very simple and the small piece of substances that our body can use this process is called digestion thus we can say that food we eat is digested in our stomach and intestine now children you see the digestive system here this is the food pipe and this is the stomach large intestine small intestine and the anus okay now this is the picture of the full digestive system now kidneys two bean shaped kidneys are located inside our abdomen they are present in the left and right sides of the backbone what they do they purify blood and produce urine but urine is a waste product of our body now children you see the picture of the kidneys how they are looking 
Now turn the page children. Bones. Our body is made up of 206 bones. These bones together form the skeleton. Skeleton gives shape to our body. Bones are covered with muscles. They help us to move our body. There are about 600 muscles in our body. Then how many bones are there? 206 bones are there in our body and 600 muscles are there in our body. Now see the picture of a skeleton. Now respiratory system, the nose, windpipe and lungs make up our respiratory system. Nose, we breathe in and breathe out through our nose. Breathing in is called inhalation and breathing out is called exhalation. Windpipe, the air we breathe in enters the lungs through the windpipe. Lungs, a pair of lungs is present inside the chest cavity, one on each side of the backbone. Lungs absorb oxygen from the inhaled air and remove carbon dioxide as exhaled air. A thin dome shaped sheet of muscle called diaphragm separates the lungs from the stomach. When air is inhaled, the diaphragm contracts and moves downwards and when air is exhaled, the diaphragm expands and pushes upwards. Thus, our lungs expand during inhalation and contract during exhalation. Then inhalation means that we breathe air inside our body and exhalation means we breathe out air from our body. Now children you see this is the nose and windpipe. These two are lungs and this is the diaphragm. It, it separates the lungs from the stomach. And this is the picture of respiratory system. Now children, deep breathing. The action of breathing deeply as a method of relaxation is called deep breathing. We take deep breath during yoga and meditation. Now the process. First, sit down comfortably on the floor as shown in the figure. Slowly take a deep breath through your nose. Let the air completely fill your lungs. Also, let your belly expand a few inches holding your breath. Pause for a second or two. Now breathe and through your nose slowly. Pay attention as your belly will collapse and go in. In this process, your lungs contract completely and all the air is exhaled. Now children, you see the picture. The girl is practicing the process and you also can practice in the home because it is very good for our health. Now children, air pollution, the addition of harmful and undesirable substances to the air is called air pollution and the harmful substances that mix with the air are called air pollutants. These harmful substances or air pollutants are added to air because of different human activities and some natural events. The first point is the natural events are Volcanic eruptions and forest fires, dust, smoke are produced. This dust and smoke pollute the air. The second point, many human activities are there and they add harmful substances to the air. Like burning of wells, exhaust of vehicles and smokes released from chimneys of factories pollute the air. Now causes of air pollutions. Causes of air pollutions are as follows. The first point is smokes as well as harmful gases released from chimneys or factories 
and industries. The second point is harmful gases released from exhaust or vehicles. Third point is smoke produced during burning of wells such as coal, wood and kerosene. And the fourth point is smoke released on burning wastes and garbages. Now children turn the page, page number 14. Now you see the picture here, the first picture smoke is coming out from a chimney of the factory and polluting the air. Now here the car is releasing the harmful smokes and here the smokes are coming on the burning of the garbage and the wastes. Now children, what are the effects of air pollution? Air pollution has adverse effects on human health. The first point is it causes diseases of lungs. Second point it causes breathing problems, coughing, sneezing and headaches. Third point it may destroy ozone layer in atmosphere. Ozone layer protects us from harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun. The fourth point is it may cause increase in temperature of the earth that is called global warming. Now what is the ozone layer? Ozone layer is a thin layer of earth's atmosphere that absorbs almost all of the sun's ultraviolet light. And why the ultraviolet rays of the sun is very harmful for us? Because it causes skin cancer, early aging, etc. And now what is global warming? Global warming means the temperature of the earth climate rises very high and we feel very hot for that. Now children it is clear to you what is the ozone layer, what is the ultraviolet rays of the sun and what is the global warming. Okay children, now I finish my lesson here. Thank you children and all the question answers and the exercises of this lesson already are given in the study materials. I request you to follow that.